Less than a month of new ambulance services in Cohoes and concern and confusion still remain for some residents. News 10's James De La Fuente live in the studio with us now explaining how folks are adjusting to the change. James. Well, for the last 30 years, Empire Ambulance has provided services to the city of Cohoes charging not a dime, instead billing patients. However, the city has a new contract with the company Ambulance, now putting taxpayers on the hook for $50,000 a month. Helen Annally, wife of a Cohoes firefighter, says she's seen firsthand the issues that EMS come across on a daily basis and has organized a petition telling me the wait time for ambulance to arrive is a big concern. I can't imagine what it's like for some of these people that are waiting for 45 minutes, 60 minutes, two hours for an ambulance. It must feel like forever. Annally believes the money being spent on private ambulance service could be better spent by Cohoes investing in its own transport EMS. Putting the money back into our city and then being able to collect the revenue that you get from insurance would offset the cost of getting an ambulance in the city. So it just seems to make sense to get our own. The mayor disagrees, saying he believes response times are a product of a national increase in 911 calls and overburdening emergency rooms. Ambulances are getting tied up uh, at the emergency room, uh, you know, during the admission process so there are occasions where they sit there uh, for one two three I've heard a, one story where they sat there for four hours and in an effort the mayor says he's reaching out to his neighbors for a more affordable option as the current contract with ambulance is a month-to-month -month basis City put out a request for proposal on Friday uh, so just a couple of days ago and you know we're gonna see what ambulance squads want to bid on the Cohoes contracts reporting in Cohoes James De La Fuente, News 10 ABC